British scientist David Strachan first proposed the controversial hygiene hypothesis in 1989, suggesting that in our modern sterile world, lack of exposure to microorganisms in childhood was leading to impaired immune systems and higher rates of allergies and asthma. Researchers have since refined that theory, suggesting that it's not lack of exposure to disease-causing germs at play, but rather to old friends, beneficial microbes in soil and the environment, and that mental health is also impacted. Now, 30 years after scientists coined the term hygiene hypothesis to suggest that increased exposure to microorganisms could benefit health, University of Colorado Boulder researchers have identified an anti-inflammatory fat in soil-dwelling bacterium that may be responsible. 10-Z hexadecenoic acid, a fatty acid found in the soil-based bacterium, Mycobacterium vacae, interacts with immune cells to inhibit pathways that drive inflammation and increase resilience to stress. Researchers say the findings could bring us one step closer to developing a microbe-based stress vaccine. Well, that's just ridiculous. We don't need a vaccine if you just go touch the dirt. I mean, are you kidding me? Here's the paper. Identification and characterization of a novel anti-inflammatory lipid isolated from Mycobacterium vase or vacae a soil-derived bacterium with immunoregulatory and stress resilience properties. That sounds pretty rationale to me, doesn't it? But why would we need a vaccine if all you need to do is play in dirt? That's what I don't get. <clears throat> now, the lead author, Lowry, Christopher Lowry, and I quote, we think we... Uh, we think that there is a special sauce driving the protective effects of this bacterium and that this fat is one of the main ingredients in that special sauce. Now, Lowry has published numerous studies demonstrating this link. And there you can see the bacterium that hold the 10Z hexadecenoic acid. Now, Lori has published numerous studies demonstrating the link between exposure to healthy bacteria and mental health, i.e., the healthy bacteria in the soil. That means you need to dig in the dirt. Now, one of these studies showed that children raised in rural environments, surrounded by animals and bacteria-laden dust, grow up to have more stress-resilient immune systems, and may be at lower risk for mental illness than pet-free city dwellers, so to speak. Get your hands dirty. Other studies have shown that when particular bacterium, Mycobacterium vase, is injected into rodents, it alters the animal's behavior in a way similar to that of antidepressants and has long-lasting anti-inflammatory effects on the brain. It's insane. It's in the dirt. Go touch it. Other studies suggest exaggerated inflammation boosts, risks of trauma, and sensor-related disorders, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, can also be alleviated by touching this dirt. One recent Lowry authored study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in 2017 showed that injections of this microbacterium vasi prior to a stressful event could prevent PTSD-like symptoms. Now, the proof is in the pudding. <clears throat> About six years ago, I helped initiate this nonprofit in one of the poorest areas in Philadelphia called Growing Home. And we had children learn how to plant and touch the dirt for the first time, maybe ever. They learned about snakes. But they learned about community. And at the same time, unbeknownst to us, they were healing themselves through science. 
a lost art. We all used to have gardens. Now we use hand sanitizer. We don't want to be dirty. I have no idea why. And this this paper and this stress vaccine is unnecessary. Because the facts are clear. The, the bacteria is in the soil. And all you need to do is go out and dig in the dirt. When you change yourself, you can change the world. You are the deciding factor.